Let us look at some of the key words that have been used by our Kino speaker. Let me quote, China, cultural and spiritual resources. Contribute, more humane model of development, share. These and similar words and concepts have characterized much of his keynote speech. I think these words are very important. Cultural and spiritual resources, share. These words are important because from my own limited understanding. Very often, when people continue to watch China grow, and very often with a deep sense of concern and great discomfort, the focus on China is mainly on China's expanding political, economic, and military might. And very seldom do they touch on mental, cultural, spiritual resources of China. So far, I have been to the Shanghai World Expo twice. And in my visit, I'm not particularly interested in the hard ways, the great pavilions and the buildings, although they are indeed great and very attractive. As a Chinese from overseas, I'm particularly interested in what the whole show has to convey to the world community, which is watching China very closely, maybe judging, evaluating in the end. What kind of message does this great nation that is on the rise that will convey to the world community? Is it just economic, political, and military might, or something else, as our keynote speaker has so gently reminded us, not so. Perhaps equally important and far more important than all this may be what has, he has described as cultural and spiritual resources. The keynote address has also something very exciting to say about Matthew Ritchie and Xi Guangxi. And the very cordial friendship and interaction between these two great men. Our speaker uses the friendship and interaction between Richie and Xi Guangqi as a model for the present and future relationship between China and the rest of the world. I think the analogy is not only appropriate, but also very applicable and challenging for us today, for China as well as for the rest of the world. 